an art that can help in the realm of style, relaxation, and even improving fine motor skills. Quilting is an ancient tradition passed down from generation to generation, and joining us is an example of just that. We are happy to welcome back Becky Robinson, founder of So Sweet Studio, and her daughter, Barry Robinson, who is the manager and part owner of this beloved local business. Ladies, thank you so much for joining us, and I want to congratulate you on 10 years. How exciting is that? Yes, it's super exciting. How has the journey of So Sweet Studio evolved over this past decade? Well, um, blood, sweat, and tears. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's been a super fun process mm -hmm. and just learning all the new things and um, just working through the whole things that you do with a small business yeah. from the accounting side to the um, marketing side mm -hmm. to the learning of the technology mm -hmm. and of course the creative side it keeps us interested yeah and now what led you to want to open up so sweet studio to begin with 10 years ago um, I just knew I could do it better Oh, that's a great <laughs> answer. That is a great answer, Becky. And now, Barry, I want to ask you, so you guys recently launched the So Sweet School. Yes. Um, very exciting. Can you can you talk about that? Yeah. Um, so it's an online digital learning platform where we'll be teaching machine techniques mm -hmm. um, as well as eventually quilting techniques, sewing things, project-based, um, but it's all online and it's a lot of fun. How awesome is that? And now, so, you know, quilting and sewing is, is very generational and obviously mother-daughter duo. Mm -hmm. um, did it start with you, Becky? Or were you the first one? To do the quilting? Yeah. No, uh, <laughs> no, in my family. Mm -hmm. um, actually, Barry is a fifth generation quilter. Wow. So my mother, my grandmothers, my great grandmothers mm -hmm. have, uh, I have quilts in the collection from the whole family. So, wow, so it's, yeah. it's in your blood. It is. And now <laughs> I want to talk about some of these beautiful pieces. Mm -hmm. So you guys, these are all made. Of course you made these, but they all look kind of different. Mm -hmm. So is this different techniques? Mm -hmm. So there's piecing obviously on a machine, so that's the actual sewing of the individual pieces of fabric together. Mm -hmm. um, but then there's also embroidery quilting, mm -hmm. um, which holds the pieces together here. Okay. Um, but we also have like a bag here with the little embellishments. This is all embroidery as well. And then this is a fun technique called couching, where you use yarn to get kind of that textured, almost like vintage 70s oh, look. Oh, how cool is that? And and something interesting about about quilting is you know this is kind of out of my realm. I've, I've I've never, I've never dived into this before, but you know, I feel like it's, it would be very relaxing. Mm -hmm. But then also, you get something amazing out of it. So, do you feel like it, it also is like a mental workout too? Of course, it, it is. It is. There's a lot of problem solving involved, mm -hmm. um, but at the end of the day, you have something that is really nice and that you feel accomplished in mm -hmm. that creation process mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. And now earlier, you were talking about that um, a lot of people donate the, these mm -hmm. pieces so so can you kind of expand on that what what do you see the most often when is it you know with blankets or mm -hmm. so many times when there's a new baby in the family people will make a quilt for that baby mm -hmm. um, that's super common um, there's also a a uh, foundation called Quilts of Valor, which donates quilts to veterans. Oh, wow. um, mm -hmm. And there's a very active community here in Charleston mm -hmm. uh, with Quilts of Valor. Wow, that is awesome. And now, Becky, I do, I do want to ask you, so, you know, 10 years in the books, what is your hope for the, for the next decade? <laughs> Besides retiring? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, no, I'm super excited that Barry works in the business and mm -hmm. my son Spencer also works full time in the mm -hmm. business. So my, my goal with it is to continue to be the visionary and um, the idea pe people, and mm -hmm. Barry is super great with creativity yeah. and the ideas as well. So um, I'm just glad to see it continue on, and I honestly have the choice yeah. to continue or not, you know, in whatever capacity that I want to yeah. do, so. And that feeling is probably such a blessing mm -hmm. to be able it to, to feel that way. And now with So Sweet School, this just launched around Christmas time, so mm -hmm. it's brand new. Mm -hmm. um, do you, what are the hopes for that, for the future of that? We would like to provide a platform where people can go and find good and quality information about how to use their machines. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a lot of questions about like, how do I do this or how do I do that? Yeah. We want to be the resource to provide those answers. Yeah, and I definitely think that that is in fruition for you too. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for joining us. And, and before we go, so you will be at the quilt show uh, next month, yes. March 15th and 16th at the North Charleston Athletic Center. And, and where can our viewers find out more information about So Sweet Studio? Our website is sosweetstudio.com 
and pretty much everything kind of launches from there. Okay. And um, I think we have a blurb on the quilt show there as well. So. Okay, mm -hmm. wonderful. Well, ladies, yes, congratulations. Thank and, and, you. and thank you so much for joining yes, us today. Thank you. We're back after this.